Hey everybody and welcome to Castle in the Darkness. So Castle in the Darkness is a game that was recently published by Nicholas Inc. And it's developed by Matt Cap, who was the lead pixel artist on The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And um, this game was made available about a week or two ago on Steam right now and it's available for $6 or your regional equivalent. And essentially it's like a, a, a word that I hate, it's a Metroidvania. It's like a Metroid, like an open world 2D action platformer type effort. And um, it's kind of like a hark back to the, the golden era of video games, as the promotional information tells me. And it's a pretty cool game. Um, I've not played too much of the game, but it's um, it's pretty rough. And, and we'll talk about what's going on with it. So it was released like a week or two ago. Um, and initially, I, I it's taken me so long to make a video because initially I couldn't get the gamepad to work properly. I had issues with the gamepad and that's rectified now. Really helpful information on the Steam um and the Steam forums to, to get the gamepad to work. Apparently I had to like set the Xbox gamepad to to the default pad or some shite like that. I don't know. Above my head, above and beyond the Call of Duty to get this thing to work. But it works now and um and we're gonna play a little bit of it. Um so what I'll do is I'll start a new game and I'll show you kinda where we start from. So it's pixel art and things. The Kingdom of Alexandria pixel art and chip tune musics and stuff and it's all very you know one dark and gloomy night king elmore the second grew ill of course he did he's got like about 500 eyeballs either that it's like things you be worried about our father and things and words i missed what it said i was too busy looking at the eyeballs on our head the guards not expecting anything more than a common illness took their positions when suddenly hmm Armies of monsters attacked the castle, big old eyeballs and things. The royal guard tried to fight, but they were all defeated by the monsters, of course. All but one. Us, of course, because we're badasses. So, uh, uh, you get a feel for the game immediately. What it makes me, uh, uh, initially makes me think of a Game Boy game. It's like, this is, this is, this looks like a Game Boy game, it could be a Game Boy game, it could have been a Game Boy game. Not in a bad way, of course, but um, it has that kind of vibe to it with the, the kind of blockiness of everything. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. I think the music kind of contributes a little to that as well. So, gamepad playing. Um, I, I tried to do something with the... I tried to do a video with just the keyboard, but I, I cannot platform with a keyboard. I'm hopeless. Utterly hopeless. So we've got gamepad working, so I can play now. There was also some issues of slowdown in particular screens, but that seems to have been updated and rectified recently on Steam as well, so that's fine. So, um, so I So we've got a money indicator at the top middle. Our health indicator top left and our little knight here with his sword and, you know, we run around, we do the usual thing, D-pad for movement, A for jump, X for sword, had to look at the gamepad there, and we got some zombies, you fell over, I'll kill him before the zombie gets you, oh, oh you give me money, thank you sir, thank you, you give me rewards, treats, things, money, I missed the money. So things that I've noticed about the game that are kind of odd, you can like farm for money, so, so say I kill this guy, I get a coin, right, if I go back here, boom, reload him. More money. Okay, we're up to ten. If I was, if I wanted to, I, I could just farm these dudes for money right now, and then go and get a really powerful sword, or at least, well, a, a more powerful sword than what we've got at the moment. Enter buildings. It's a Metroidvania. It's a, a Metroid-like. It's a, an explorative open-world type situation. The city has been overrun by monsters. Indeed, it has. Where's the money? Oh, is it in here? Ah, it's okay. Get the money. Always get the money. What are you saying? We, uh, it's possible to climb some roofs. Yep, um, yep, I don't think I can make that, I think I need some upgrades, so you do get upgrades and things, we'll talk about those as we come across them. I can't make that jump, I can't even do the jump, I'm running too far along the ledge. So the controls are a little, a little clumpy, not clunky, clumpy, they, they feel, I don't know, I feel like my guy's a bit fat sometimes, like, he tries to jump and he can't jump. Um, but we'll kill the zombies, we'll kill the flying eyeball birds. Oh. Okay, I need to reload that block. Eyeball, zombie. We've already, we're already at 30 coins, so if I do a jump and a jump, there we go. So if you bounce off breakable blocks, you get a little bit of a boost. Now these things here, these are like save stations, but they're also where you can change your equipment. So if I go to equip, you can only do this at these particular points. The only menus available basically are here. So we've got relics, items, armor, magic and stuff. So we've just got our guard. No guard sword, guard armor, items, we don't have anything, relics, don't have anything. Go back, all this will save. 
And the game likes to kill you. The game likes to kill you very quickly. The game will kill you, send you back to your save point very, very frequently. So many bullets can be hit back at them. Yes, enemies and bullets. Right, you're going to break the whole... Oh, I forgot about this thing. The game also likes to throw bosses at you frequently. <laughs> Look at this eyeball here. This is fairly easy. It's going to fire these balls, which will ping back at it. The like traditional bosses. Oh, I don't like this one. Aye. Whoa. The good thing is, regardless of where you hit the, the, the shot from the eyeball, it'll still send right back to its face. There we go. We got hit there. It's fine. Hmm. Don't kill me, please. There we go. Okay. We, we managed to make it through okay. We're a bit low on health, but it's fine. We'll get this. A boss heart HP up. I think that means we get like an extra red notch on our on our health meter, possibly. So we're doing okay. We'll save again. 52 coins. Um, old jump when you're landing so you can get a bounce. There we go. Very good. And there's a lot of this kind of nonsense, like scaling scaling things with spikes. Spikes are a bitch. Fuck you. Go enter here. Now, from what I hear, there's a lot of uh, secrets. There's a lot of secrets you can explore and find. Oh, hello. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, we could actually use the... Ah, I see. I see what's going on. So we could use the bridge to go backwards. Now, this was what I farmed before. This guy here has loads of money. So if I just go in here... You. Some crack blocks can only be broken while holding the... Some sort of gauntlet. Gauntlets. Things. Relics, I believe, are um, power items. Like, you get a relic, you can use it to... Like, if I had the relic, the fist relic, I could punch through there and get those... Get that bag of money. Well, we'll just come back out here and just kill this frog again. Grab your money. I'm just going to do this for just now, because I want enough money to get this cool sword in a second. 84. I think we need 90. Possibly 90. I'm not sure. But all in all... Damn, I missed that money. All in all, I'll, I'll provisionally say... I don't know if the game's for me so much. It, it, like, usually in Metroidvania, I'm like, you know, I'll give it a shot, I'll give it a try. But in this instance, it's just not, it's not pulling me in. It's not dragging me in in the way that I would want it to. I don't feel invested in the game at all. The story is too... Too generic. It's too much of a, you know, we've we've been here before. You're a knight, you're the last knight alive. You know, things are happening. So I've equipped the big old sword. A big old fat sword. I'm gonna go and save now. We've, we've saved up enough money to get that sword. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I can't decide if it's something that I would, you know complete if I'd keep playing. I find myself frustrated a lot, but that's probably more to do with my, my own abilities at the game rather than anything. I need to hit this guy in the face. Give me face, man. I died. Oh, balls. Died 22 times. That's the total amount of deaths that I've had. At least we've still got the big sword. Bird, fuck off. There we go. Very good. But yeah, I think it's more to do with my own... Oh, they've patched this as well. There was a... There was like a keen little spot that I had that you could just stand and he wouldn't hit you, but they seem to have patched it so you can't cheese him anymore. Wow, okay. I would like to kill you, but it seems that I cannot. I could see it being a fun game if someone wanted to speedrun it, possibly. Um, it'd be like one of those games that, you know, you would see someone want to speedrun. Balls. I'm gonna get you. Oh no, don't jump in his face. Right, we get a key which I can use to open this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play smart and I'm going to go back and save. That's a, a, another point is like, see if you don't save for a while and you die somewhere and you've got quite far. Oh, it feels bad. It feels awful. Like any, it's like that classic way. Like if you were playing Stalker, the first Stalker game, you got so far and you hadn't saved and then someone kills you like two hours. Uh, you haven't saved for two hours and you're dead. Dead as F. You know, that kind of annoyance. So we get the, also, Ghostbusters. So I can punch through there now that I've got the fist. Which probably means that we should go back and use the fist to get the to get that um the money bag back here that was in that building. Oh no. So as you'll see, we need to go all the way back because I was stupid. And we need to do all of that again and it gets tiring after a while. I think that's my main problem is the stupid deaths start to toll up and you start to get annoyed by all that stuff. You're like, oh I've died again. How could I be so stupid to die? Some people like that though. Some people are into that. I don't know. 
I think in the context of certain games, it's fine. Um, if there wasn't so much backtracking to save points, I'd probably be happier. But, you know. Uh, th that said, though, I'm there's games like that that I enjoy. Perhaps if I was more invested in the story, in the world, and everything else that was going on, I'd probably feel a little bit better about it, but yeah, I'm definitely going to save here. Fuck, um, do I need to apply... The relic? I guess I don't. I mean, if I did, I would, you know, I've already punched through some walls and stuff, so... Give me that money! Chicken. We've got a lot of money now. That means that we can probably buy some armor at some point. Is there anywhere else that... Oh, fuck off. Damn guy. Is there anywhere else that I could get some, you know, armor? That would be quite nice, I think. That'd be good. And free money. And you can constantly farm these dudes. Constantly. Farm them for days. Over and over. Repeatedly. You get your health back when you go through those save points, but, um, do you have any... Get to equip a save point, that's fine. Hmm. They must have changed that as well, because I'm pretty sure it didn't auto-equip, or it didn't ask you if you wanted to equip the sword the last time, but we'll continue on through here. I've been through there, we've got some zombies. Always zombies, never forget your zombies. How did you hit me? We'll go this way first. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh, up. Watch the bones. I'm not really sure where we go here. Is this the right way? Oh fuck, I don't like this at all. Uh, I knew I didn't like it. I knew it wasn't good. I knew it wasn't good for us. Gonna have to walk all the way through here again. I guess it's the, the, the repetition that I don't like. The doing it over and over and over and over again. But in some games you get the repetition and it's fine. Hmm. At least we don't reload that skeleton, that would be a bit of a shitter. Oh, hello. Getting a shot again. Go. Nice. Some good money, that is. Um, right, this sucks. How do I do this? Fuck you, bird. Maybe that's the right thing to do, is wait for the bird and then yes! Okay, very good, solid play. Oh no. Museum keys, don't don't fuck with me. Yep, yep. Uh, okay, so we need a museum key for there. So there's a lot of that kind of backtracking in typical Metroidvania style. Okay, I'm 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 feeling a bit more proficient with my jumping and things. Right, this motherfucker here. Don't even let it get the better of you. Don't jump down there, because it's just spikes and death and horror at the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> First thing I do, I go up to it and I'm like, oh, I bet I can jump down there, because, you know, Mario and stuff. Okay, they've changed this boss as well to be harder, I think. Before, we never used to do that. Yeah, I was standing far enough back so he couldn't get me with the bubble. Nice, and we'll grab this and we'll continue on. We'll continue on with what we're doing. Boss heart up. Aye, aye. Um, so, I mean, if you get back to the nitty gritty, can I recommend this for six dollars? I probably, you know, some people will really enjoy it. I know I've spoke to some people on Twitter who really enjoyed the game. Oh, this area, this area really fucked me. This area made me quite sad. Push blocks, aye, I can. I can, because I've got the special glove of gloviness. Some people really enjoyed it, there's lots of secrets, some people just tend to enjoy games of this nature. Me? I'm not sure, I'm not so sure. Aye. This is gonna be tough. Up, up, yep. There we go. Um, enter. I guess we will enter. Loading! Where the fuck are we? Do I need to get up there somehow? Um, we'll definitely save. I'm sure I came over here before. I'm sure I've been over here before and I found out the hard way that I shouldn't have been here. Like, uh, like, you come all this way and you're like, uh, I need an item to get through here. As you would imagine, you know, it's new. Me Metroidvania. I'll, I'll just keep saying that word. Every time something... <laughs> every time exploration is required, I'll just say Metroidvania. 
people all understand. They understand that that's what the game's all about, that that's what's going on. Rat, I'm sorry. Or mouse. Look more like a mouse to me. And that block looks different to me. Hmm. It's got a different, it's got a different nature to it. What key that is. What's the key used for? Nobody knows. Well, I, don't, I certainly don't know at the moment, but we'll find out. We will find out. That's how we do. We explore. We find out. 200 gold coins. In typical fashion, because I'm explaining what I'm doing, I'm getting more into the game. And it annoys me when I do that, because it means that every every piece of criticism that I've come up with before actually making the video... Um, where was the save point again? This guy fuck off. Okay, give me that. It means that every piece of criticism that I've come up with is now, now like, a, a non- a non-point. Oh, fuck me. Balls! Oh, and the rage begins again. The anger begins again. Now very angry. I shouldn't have thought. Oh, fuck. Right, okay. Now I remember why the game was annoying me. This one... Right, I was doing well on these cogs, but the cogs are motherfuckers. You need to time your jumps perfectly. Wait for this guy to blow himself up. There we go. Blow yourself up and then... Zombie, get out my fucking way. You as well, you bastard. There we go. Whip man. Give him a couple of taps with the old sword. There we go. Poke him. Give him the poke. Rat. Death from above on the rat. This guy can go fuck himself. Whoop! And a hop! And a hip! And a wah! There we go. Very good. Let's just use the key. Let's not lose any health. Just use the key. How are you not dead yet, you fucker? There we go. Whoop! Give me that coin. Nice. So the key has to be used here. Give me a save point. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, what are you saying? Some paintings can hint at secrets. Is that right, I? I don't feel like I'm finished through here because there was like a whole other thing to do that I didn't quite conquer before. Let's try and conquer it now. Prepare to be conquered. Game. I'll leave that coin. Fuck the coin. Oh! Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Ah! Okay, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I find that bit rather harrowing. So there was this area here as well, where there was that dude, there was the dude like, oh you can push the blocks, but there's like a whole bit up the top. Aye, aye, what are you saying? You can push crates by hitting them with your sword, try it, okay. Okay. Smart arse. Oh, there's buttons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, there's those kinda I wanna be the boshy type situations. I wanna be the guy kind of situations is like I didn't see the spike, but now I know the spike is there, so I will not do that again. I will learn. I will learn. And people enjoy that kind of stuff, you know, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna say it's wrong to enjoy that kind of thing. I just get I think I get frustrated sometimes with with stuff like that. I definitely get frustrated with stuff like that. But $6, I mean, what, how can I be, how can I be mad? How, how can I be mad? The controls, well, clumpy. As I said, clumpy, a bit fat. Well, well it's got fat controls. <laughs> fat controls. While it has fat controls, it feels like, um, you know, the game's not that bad. It's not that bad. Maybe if I played long enough into it, I would see the story kind of emerge. I'd see it being more than just gameplay. Because the, the whole point, like, the golden age of video games, it was all story, wasn't it? There was all, it was a story. Golden Age of Video Games. You played for the story, Zelda. Played for the story. That story was uh, some. Fine. Oh fuck you! You flying fish, fuck face. The flying fish in my face. What's he? What's he doing? Flying in my face. Fishy monsters. The problem that I've got here is this fishy flying bastard that is causing me causing me issues here. He's making my Monday less happy. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that kind of you know untoward behaviour. Let's be. What even are you? Who is that guy? What, what is his face? Oh fuck. Okay, this is good. Better start. Nope. No, no. Oh, balls. Right, this is where this is where I start to lose the fucking plot. Right. No, no, no. Yes, oh no! Ah! Hey. These Ganon heads. Ganondorf heads. What they look like? They look like... Oh fuck you! Oh no. Oh no! Oh yes. Oh yes! Okay, okay. Don't fuck me! Don't fuck me! Don't fuck me! Okay! Oh, I need a key! Oh, it's so. Oh. oh, fuck. Fuck me. 
Oh. Doing me dirty, game. You're doing me dirty, right? Well, let me just come through here. Reload the area. Get my health back up, you fucking zombie. You can get fucked up. Okay, let me come down south. Okay, and then I need to bash this over here. Oh, so I went the right way the first time, so I need a fucking key for that? Ow. Oh. oh, damn. Okay, we'll go and get the key then. We'll get the key. And hopefully we'll we'll produce some, some of the goods. Maybe. Maybe we'll find the key, maybe we won't. Definitely save. Use every save point. Don't be don't be scrimping. Oh fuck. I just avoid you. Maybe we'll get some new armor. Or some sort of, you know, consumables or you know, something good. Okay, we're we're, we're out, we're, we're scot free. I'm into new territory. Um Who the fuck are you? Oh my god, he packs a punch! I don't like this guy. I don't like him at all. I don't like the cut of his jib. The big skeleton. So basically, just what I do enjoy is being able to mash the sword. Imagine you could use a sword at that speed. Oh my god. Shit, damn, I'm meant to do. Am I meant to run under his feet when he fucking jumps? You shitting me? Oh, that was a terrible idea. I'm gonna go back and save. Just nope, I'll just kill myself then. Why not? Yeah, I mean, right, calm down, Tom. Calm down. Remain calm. Composure. Compose yourself. Um, oh, fuck you. Oh, I can't even leave. Oh, no. Oh, no, I just stand in there and he can't get me. Oh, he's a scum. He's a shitty skeleton. I don't like him. I'm basically stuck in here with this fuck face. Hold on. Let's be cheeky now. Cheeky. Ah! He can't get me. The problem he's got here is he can't get me. Okay, I think I've got him. I've got him in a rhythm. He must be nearly dead. Oh, he is. Okay, good. Give me that gold. Give, give me the coins. Okay, we got a boss heart. Where are my coins going? What's going on? Oh, I lost all that money because of because of reasons, apparently. Eyeballs and things. I guess we're going this way then. Um. I have no idea where I am now. I'm like on roofs and stuff. I'm, oh, fuck. Oh, you bastard. There we go. Very good. Solid play. And oh, one of those. What are you saying? Uh, there used to be a mine east of here, but the lizard men took it over. Of course they did. Of course they did. That's what they do. There's a big old chest up there as well. We'll go t towards this direction. We'll, we'll go for a little bit more. And then, and then we'll probably... Fuck are you? Oh, you're one of those guys. I don't like how they just, like, scamper off. Hmm. Right, I'm assuming then that the switch over here is the switch we we need to press for reasons. For reasons to open this area up. Aye, aye, okay, okay. Another frog, money frog. My favourite kind. Right, we've got a room. Can I interact? With said room. Old man, what have you got for me? For what? You're the 100 year old man. Well, can you give me a fucking boost up here then, old man? So I can get some stuff. We need some sort of jumping helper. We need a double jump. What we need to oh, our save point. Four points like this can be used to travel, but I don't know how. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that's not a save point then. Oh, balls. I've not seen a save point in years. This is where I get nervous, is when there's no save points. I just want a save point. What are you saying? Oh, don't go alone, thank you, Zelda person. One coin, are you shitting me? Is that is that your idea of fun? Oh, I killed him! I'm sorry. I, I seem to have killed him. So I can't move that, so obviously I'm too weak. Like a castle. We found castle Grey Skull. Right. 
you give me a bit of space and I'll come over here. Aye. Oh. I'm nervous about hitting the eyeball. Good. Fuck the coin. No oh, balls. Oh no. I haven't saved in like 500 years. What are you saying? Wait for one of my, um, your daughter Sophia. Worried about her. Okay. Hmm. Guess we're going down this way then. That better be a save point, or I'll be rather cross. It is a save point. Yeah, fucking yeah, dancer, as they say. I'm gonna worry about the eyeball. Damn. Worst damage. Where the fuck are we going? Holy, like, excuse me. Oh, that's just cheap. Some cheap shit there, boy. I ain't even. I even worried. I'm scared. I'm not even scared at all. So, uh, this is Castle in the Darkness. Uh, there's rats. There's rats and things. It's a Metroidvania 2D pixel arty action platform or anything. Seems to run locked at 55 frames per second. I'm not sure why that is, but you know. It's, it's a decent game. It's alright. Six dollars. You know, you pay that much for a fucking takeaway. Some people pay that much for a burger. You know, and they get, what, like 15 minutes of enjoyment, whereas this could give you a couple of hours. When you think of it like that, when you think of it based upon. How much enjoyment you'll get for a set amount of hours, if that's your thing. People seem to be into that nowadays. You probably get more enjoyment out of this than you would a Subway sandwich. So, uh, yes, Castle in the Darkness. Available now on Steam, you'll find a link in the description below.